with send an email option you can directly send your recent file as an attachment uh, to whomever you want to send it right you can copy cc uh, and then you can just add the subject line whatever you want to add the matter and then dear sir please find the attached file for your reference regards so and so and you can just click on the send button and you will see from a send email box you have sent this particular mailer to the respective owners right so i'm just closing this out how how i got this particular option uh, you could see there's an option called send an email okay send an email itself and then you will get the whatever open file you have right that will automatically redirect as an attachment and you will get a pop-up so that you can share that across with your respective stakeholders now it will take some time to load in so let me close that out from task manager itself because i already showcased you how it works okay outlook i'll just quickly close that outlook perfect so now we have just to work on this option called uh, set as desktop background need to ensure that you know we are adding a graphics first okay i've added this graphics and a uh, couple of more designs uh, whichever you want to add if you want to add your company logo you can do that if you want to other way around you can do that as well it's complete your call how you want to go ahead i'm just filling those parameters and then i'll just keep it like this and then i'll click on this set as a background okay it's asking me to save somewhere i'll just type as a hhh file name and then click on the show as a desktop you could see this output right so if this option is not really working for you okay that time what you can what you need to do you can do is uh, just ensure that you know this vertical and the horizontal bar you are just mapping this and just adjusting this like this okay so it will come into the one center page and then you can just click on here and tile okay when you do a tile you can see this option are getting added one by one likewise cool so let me open up the screen again and then now we can see the properties okay the properties itself in the property what is the meaning of the property so properties is showcasing you basically what is the file attributes when we have saved this particular file what is the size of this particular uh, file or maybe image whatever we have resolution 96 dpi inches centimeters how we are calculating that and the black and white or color basically we have added the color so that's the reason it's showcasing as a color so this is the properties basically the specification of the image so it's been get it added in the properties and then if you want to know more about the paint you can just click at the windows 10 i'm currently operating windows 10 and in windows 10 itself the version which i'm using for microsoft paint okay it's been showcasing over here then click on the exit if you click on the exit it will automatically exit x out the paint again i'll click on the paint type paint and then click on the open paint you can see this page cool so this is the file section which i have showcased you right now and this is the recent files which i have already open close open close right so those are the file uh, let's jump on the ribbons uh, and then I'll slowly steadily give you the brief about the each option correct I'll press the control N control N and then don't save this is the paste paste from okay so let me add some object over here I want to have a duplicate about this particular object I'll just select this out copy and then I click on paste 
I'll get the duplicate copy okay paste from I'll just select this file and paste from over here so wherever file is placed I need to copy that file okay instead of you know open that particular file I just copy that uh, image and just paste it out here this is the option paste from works okay cut I want to delete something okay basically I don't want this particular thing so I just click on the cut right I'll again select this selection and then this is the clipboard function which we have seen right now paste paste from cut and copy in the clipboard itself now we are seeing the image section which is this image section in image section itself we are seeing the uh, multiple shapes over here rectangular free form selection so this is the form of selection okay suppose uh, I'll add a multiple objects over here that time this will really helpful to understand I'll just keep this bit you know imaginary form so I'll just add something like this okay like this okay and now I want to rectangular selection rectangular selection is basically your selection like this okay, your selecting file like this correct however if I want to free form selection so this is the free form selection I just want only selection like this so I'll just I can select it like this and then I just do a free form over here like this copy it and paste it okay I'll get the copy like this free form selection right I'll uh, again select all I want entire things needs to be select select all this is the select all inward selection suppose I want to select a I'll just click here to remove this inward selection select all and then inward selection this will unselect all so basically instead of selecting this particular thing it will select entire thing right correct that object is there rest of the other objects are getting selected those are the invert function now delete if I want to delete something uh, what I will do I'll just click on the rectangular I'll just click it will act as a cut only delete okay and transparent selection this is the transparent selection basically click on this okay so this will how it works now resize if I want to make a, any kind of a resize uh, in the uh, the same option you can do in MS paint uh, you can do in uh, MS office other suits as well like Word Excel PowerPoint likewise you can do the similar option which is called resize I'll click resize okay first I need to select this document or maybe any kind of an object here I'll select this resize I want to change the size I'll make it 30 and then okay you can see that size has been changed for this rotate I want to rotate this left 90 like likewise you can do this rotation for the object correct pencil if you want to draw something you can do that as well uh, I'll just do a control N okay or maybe control N meaning it's your new okay don't save and then I'll just draw something like this sorry for my drawing but it can be a painting according to me you can paint as per your creativity okay if you have that creativity I don't have that much but yeah, I try my level bus to make you happy and then uh, here uh, eraser if I want to erase something I can erase it okay don't want this I don't want this I can erase this as well it's a very beautiful option in the MS paint and then I want to uh, fill the boxes I can fill that as well I'll just click here and then uh, suppose there is a two objects okay this is the object and uh, I want another object called this okay I want a 
and this is the another object in which it has color like this okay i want a color like this the similar one and i am not able to identify in the color section so that time we can click here okay it's option called color picker the meaning is pick a color from the picture and we can use it in the any kind of drawing okay so i'll just pick this color and then i'll just use it over here yeah you can use it like this first you need to pick it like this and then once color is added in this color one that time you can use this option called fill color and then just click here you can see the matches like this okay uh, when we add any kind of an uh, images logos or maybe our uh, letter heads or maybe images for that matter right uh, that time we need to add some kind of a uh, content uh, over there or be written like this okay so i just add to add a text i do a use this option correct when i press that option text i have got this particular ribbon added okay like this if i do a opaque uh, the background color will also get added if i do a transparent the background color will not get added okay this is the fonts and then you need to select this and uh, when i do a selection you can see multiple fonts are there okay this can automatically get changed and then this is the size basis you can adjust the content italic underline this is the strike through basically this will help you to show you content like this okay so this how you can add your text and if you want to zoom in something suppose i added like this okay and i want to see that in a zoom in form you can do that as well click 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 double click double click double click you can just zoom in you can see here 800 pixel zoom level just zoom out you can zoom out that as well too from here as well and there as well correct now the brushes very a uh, lovely option okay i would say i'll just select this color here and then here i'll select this i'll click on the brushes option this is brush i'll pick another one if needed okay these are different types of brushes you can use it correct this is the way you can add it uh, most of the time you know in my uh, when i've started the ms paint right that time i have created one drawing called home right usually uh, when we initially start this learning right that time we create a home like this so that's the reason i just reminded that's what i'm just giving you but like this i don't know how many of you have noting it down but this is the way we were usually creating a homes okay and then what i will do i'll just click here paint this is the door and for me this and this like this i'll add a circle over here in between somewhere yeah like this and then paint i'll just do a this like this so this is the how i have created my own painting i want to do a some sort of designing over here i can do that as well okay because it's, again it's my creativity i i can't uh, debate on this you you are better than me okay uh, students so you can do a excellent job on it i definitely assure it uh, and rest of the other shops are pretty well explained okay this is the options you can just add it somewhere whatever you want to add it you can just add it and then i want fill color like fill this so what i will do i'll just select this and then i fill it cool mm, this is the way we can add it and then again this is the sizes of my outline i want to select this thinner so i'll get a thin outline 
I want stroke has been increased so stroke get increased and then whatever you want to cool outline again the how you want the outline you can see this outline beautiful designs correct this is the way you can design your artwork and this is the colors basically this is the background color and then this is your foreground color foreground color means basically the page which we are seeing it right now and this is your background color which is your available in the background so if I do a green and uh, I select this entire thingy and I move it you could see the background color has been green yeah this is the background color correct so this is how it is and the edit color if you want to make changes or maybe add a new colors in it you can do that as well uh, I want a color like um, this add custom and then I want color like this add custom I'll just select anything and just pick it out add it click add it select this add it and then okay you could see this color get added one by one correct edit with paint 3d okay it's in a bit a uh, depth level about ms paint however i'll just quickly give you the overview about this edit with paint 3d but before we jump on the edit with paint 3d let me quickly show you view option okay and then post that you know we will start with the edit with print 3d yeah In view option itself, uh, it's asking you to zoom in, okay, to zoom in, zoom out, right? Then 100% zoom. If you are not able to identify this option, okay, you can just do this from here itself. Ruler, this is the ruler. Basically, when we do a measurement, right, and we are, uh, or maybe you are a professional, in MS Paint and you need to use this MS Paint as a free drawing, right? That time you can use this ruler and just draw it basis on the measurement, correct? Grid lines, these are the grid lines and then status bar, this is your status bar which I was talking about, right? This is the status bar, you can just on and off. Full screen, if you want to make it this as a full screen, you can do that as well, okay? As like a MS Paint. Uh, sorry, MS PowerPoint, you can do the MS Paint full screen too, right? This is the design. And then thumbnail, this is the thumbnail. So it's giving you a small view about your artwork or whatever artwork you have added. Cool. So this is all about the MS Paint folks, okay? If you are, uh, you have already enrolled about the MS Paint, then you are certified now with the MS Paint. Cool. Uh, this is the option called help whenever you are stuck somewhere and you are not able to identify the option about the MS Paint you can just click on this help option which is a very useful option you can just click out, click it out there okay and understand I just type paint whatever query you want to have you just type it you can get it like this and just click it Microsoft support okay and then help in paint you could see the answers like this yeah I think pretty much uh, well versed covered by the Microsoft itself okay we are not uh, promoting any any product uh, for the uh, outside the Microsoft okay because we are a premium customer for Microsoft 365 we would urge you to buy a Microsoft 365 itself okay and then this is the recent files undo button this will help you to undo whatever steps you have do, done so far it's your undo redo again and then this is save print preview whatever options we have seen so far this is the options pretty much cover and now we are going to move in the edit with paint 3d we'll click here and then just don't save when we click on that option edit in paint 3d it will open like this okay it's very uh, lovely paint 3d i just love it you know artists who are uh, working on the 3d projects okay those particular folks will really love this option okay i just love it click on 3d library 
you can see predefined uh, animals libraries uh, have been given you can just click here and just add it I'm just click on the alligator and then it will take some time to load it because it's in a 3d uh, element so that's the reason okay now you could see this element has been added okay and then you can just zoom you know vertically or maybe however you want to do it you can do that as well move it this object and it's in a predefined and free of cost uh, product offered by Microsoft 365 you can just add it in your drawing and you can just play around it 3d shapes again 3d shapes if we want to add some sort of any kind of a shape you can do that as well most of right uh, if you they want to produce this particular documentary uh, maybe explain this to the client that time they use it mixed reality you can click effects and then basis on the color code right you can just add the effects like this this is your home canvas effects this is the effect and then home sweet home I'll just add as a liner home sweet home do a deep dive in it I'll just give you the quick two to three steps and then you can just deep dive about it and you can learn more about it I just mean right so now as promised let's jump on the edit with paint 3d option and then don't save I've just click on the don't save option here if you could see there are multiple and numerous options are there right new 2d shapes if you want to add 2d shapes you can add that as well thickness i'll not go in detail about this uh, though but uh, let me quickly just show you how it will look like and how you can use it in your projects correct and this will help you to make more uh, user friendly in ms paint So this is how I'm just adding this object dragging and drop yeah and then just like this okay you can just play around this and explore more and you can just you know let me know what you learned so far from my discover talent learning course okay Till then, uh, we are uh, fine with the training course and we are done with the training course. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Discover Talent offered MS Paint course.